a lot of vision for the neighborhood. The main street was just charming, and we mm -hmm. thought, you know what, this, this has the ability to come alive. It's like everything's set. It yeah. just needs the right vibe and the right people. We had a corridor that had a number of empty storefronts, and, and so we're trying to kind of re-energize the corridor, fill the storefronts. You know, we, we thought about wanting to have like businesses, uh, businesses that were uh, locally owned, somebody making something, somebody selling it out of a storefront. I've said from the beginning that Superior Street is a wonderful address. It's an address that everyone knows from wherever they're coming. We're only 20 blocks from downtown, so it really is a logical thing to have this area grow. I think about it in the Twin Cities of being like, um, oh, uptown, kind of being more neighborhood um, local friendly because of the parking and the craft oriented things of what we're doing. Well, I started making shoes about four years ago. I was apprenticing with a master shoemaker in New Hampshire and living out east and then wanted to start my own brand and business and decided to come back to Duluth. So I make shoes and make leather goods. I teach shoemaking and leather working. I like that it doesn't feel like the rest of Duluth and I like that it feels kind of rough and raw and that there's just kind of like kinetic potential energy here that you feel that you don't really necessarily feel in other neighborhoods. Um, and I kind of thrive off of that. I kind of thrive at like being at the bottom of a mountain and wanting to climb to the top. So I guess the energy over here is what really, um, it gets me out of bed in the morning. It makes, I want to come, you know, straight away and like get to work. I think the most interesting transition point really has just happened with OMC across the street. By Tom opening his second restaurant concept, um, he needs people to come there and buy stuff every day. That's, that's what they're about. The kitchen is open and you can look back into the kitchen and you see, I don't know, 10, 15 people working really hard. And, and so that all ultimately matters. That's all opportunity for people to grow into a job.